educated families. This is an organization situated in Ghana that helps students in rural areas in Ashtonu holding electronics and buttons. My name is Suleiman Ali, and today I'm presenting on aliens. Now, the study of aliens is called Zeno Archaeology, where Zeno means a foreigner or a stranger of alien, and archaeology is the study of Asia. Therefore, anyone who studies aliens is called a Zeno Archaeologist. An alien is any creature that is not involved on Earth or that comes from outer space. Now, people have lived in aliens since ancient times. They keep asking themselves this question Are we alone in the universe? Are we human beings, animals, and plants, the only living organisms in the entire universe? Well, most people resorted that there must be extraterrestrial life somewhere out there. So the first question we ask ourselves is, do aliens exist? No one knows for sure. However, there are those who believe that extraterrestrial life must exist somewhere in the universe. There are about 4,000 planets with water on the surface which could harbor life. Even in the atmosphere of nearby planets such as Venus, microbial life might exist high in the atmosphere. An alien is defined as any living organism from outer space. Therefore, it doesn't have to be complex life, but even something as simple as a bacteria from outer space can be classified as an alien. Where in the universe can aliens be found? If we're likely to make contact with an intelligent civilization, it would probably exist outside our solar system on one of the thousands of exoplanets that orbit other stars in the galaxy. Yes, scientists have discovered over 4,000 planets in the habitable zones of their respective stars, which means that these planets have a likelihood of sustaining life on their surface. The next question you might ask yourself is, have you been visited by aliens? But there have been a lot of reports, especially in the United States, about alien abductions. Some people are being reported to go missing for days and appear suddenly. I explained that they remember what the aliens did to them after they were abducted, mostly experiments, disturbing the human autonomy. Could this be a build up to an alien invasion? No one knows. However, there are who speculate that aliens have been visiting us regularly since the dawn of time. Now here's a question that will get your mind thinking. What if there are no other aliens out there, but we are the aliens? Yes, it could be possible that human beings didn't originate on this planet. What if we were brought here from another planet, say Mars or Venus? I mean, we found a lot of meteorites on the surface of the Earth that were originally from Mars. These meteorites may have been able to carry life on their way to the planet. Science has even shown that there are some organisms that can survive short trips between planets and meteors. I'd like to know, do you think it is possible for us to know more about aliens? Well, the truth is that as of now, we human beings have no information about aliens whatsoever. We don't know how they look or what their life processes are. All we suspect is that they exist. I mean, they must exist. But science is an ever-evolving field. Who knows? In the near future, we might make contact with alien species out there in the solar system or even beyond. Now, how do you identify an alien? Okay, so what if we take that the aliens are already among us? How do you know that this is an alien and this is a human being? Aliens may have high-tech devices that allow them to disguise their biological makeup as us. What would most stand out about them is their DNA, which wouldn't resemble any human being in the whole world. Again, their mannerisms might be different, as they are not used to the way of life of us human beings. Though they might tend to do things strangely and differently. They might talk in weird ways and have languages that are beyond our understanding. But all these are speculations, because we'll never know until we actually meet them. Now, with all these are our aliens, we have to ask ourselves, has anyone actually tried getting close to an alien? Despite several sightings of aliens, no one has ever tried to actually touch or even go near an alien. This is because aliens are very good at keeping their secrets. But however, there are a lot of people who are still trying to uncover the secrets that aliens are hiding. However, who knows what the future holds for us? In the future, we might discover what we need to know about aliens, enough to prepare for their arrival. Do you think aliens exist? If they do, where are they? Are they already among us? And are they friendly or hostile? All these questions haven't been answered by scientists yet, yet we pray and hope that in the near future we might meet some of them to quench our burning desire for knowledge. However, until then, we'll keep our telescopes pointed to the sky, looking for the slightest signal of alien lives. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our social media platforms for more interesting videos. Thank you.